Hi, let's go over sample number one for the elementary algebra common final exam. And this is for math 146 and for math 141 at Glendale College. This is Steve Chow, and I hope that you guys find my video helpful. All right, um, good luck on the test. For the first question, let's see. We are going to simplify the expression, and we have a fraction right here. And in this case, we just have to work out the order of operation. And I'm going to show you guys this way. Let's just focus on the top first, okay, the numerator which we have 5 times 8 squared minus 32 parentheses 5 minus 8. It's important to know what do we need to do first. So we are going to work out the exponent, the x squared, and also 5 minus 8 because they are in self the parentheses. So the 5 times, we all didn't do anything with it, so we'll bring it down. 8 squared means 8 times 8, and we will get 64. Let's bring down minus 32, and we have the parentheses. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. That goes inside the parentheses. All right, next, we are going to multiply out the 5 times 64, as well as the minus 32 parentheses, uh, negative 3 like this. So 5 times 64, we will get 320. Negative 32 times negative 3, we will get positive, which becomes plus. 96 and together 320 plus 96 we will end up with 416 like that so this is the result uh, on the numerator and now let's work out the denominator i'll just call this the bottom here is the bottom part and we just have 64 divided by 8 times 2 and notice that the tricky part for this question right here is we have division and multiplication and in this case, the correct way is we are going to do this from left to right. We don't necessarily do multiplication first before division. If they both happen, we are just going to do it from left to right, whichever comes first. So we are going to work out 64 divided by 8 first. 64 divided by 8 will get 8. And then let me bring down the times 2. Then 8 times 2 will get 16. All right. So this question the top is equal to 416, right? That's equal to 416. Over the denominator, the bottom, it's going to be 16. So right now, right here, we have to just work out 416 divided by 16. And you can use the calculator, and you will get 26 for the answer. Or you can also do long division. 416 divided by 16, you get, 16, uh, you get 26. All right, that's the first one.